Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. Now, the reality is that only Thor can handle this, you know what I'm saying? But I got Brian in my blood, so let's see what we got. Hold on! Wait a minute. This 3D printed bikini can help clean up contaminants in the ocean as you swim. The sponge suit bikini was designed by an electrical engineering professor at UC Riverside in California named Miri Oskin and has the ability to absorb pollution in the ocean as the wearer swims in the water. The suit is made of a sponge-like material that repels water and absorbs pollutants. It's kind of gross if you think about it that after you take a swim you come out with all this gunk in your bathing suit, but others are not so quick to judge, awarding the sponge suit bikini with the top prize in the Reshape 15 wearable technology competition. Read more about the sponge suit bikini in the Crave blog post. Dog monitoring tech has moved from home security cams and puppy feeding bowls to full-on dog tail wearables with Dog Star's Tail Talk, which claims to be the world's first emotion sensor for dogs. Tail Talk is a wearable band for your dog's tail that helps you understand when your best friend is happy, sad, nervous, or angry. The wearable connects to an app that sends you message alerts letting you know if your dog is happy or stressed the F out. Go to the blog to read more about Tail Talk. Come on, Maggie. Oh, come on. Stay! <laughs> Get it? <sighs> I need to work out more. Following up on the laser razor story we talked about a few weeks ago, the Scarp Razor Laser, which claims to shave your face with lasers, was kicked off of Kickstarter for not having a working prototype. A spokesman from Kickstarter told CNET, we require that from the beginning, backers are given a realistic sense of where the project stands in the development process. In the Scarp Razor Laser product pitch video, we see a mock-up of what the Razor Laser might look like, but we never actually see it in action. We do see for a few seconds someone using a laser to remove hair in the video, but not a prototype of the Razor. The creators of the Scarp Razor Laser did post a demo video of the Razor Laser being used on one of the creator's wrists, but stated that it was only a proof of concept prototype and didn't really cut the hair all too well. The Scarp Razor Laser had already raised about $4 million on Kickstarter, which was far beyond their initial goal of $160,000 for the Kickstarter campaign. The Scarp Razor Laser creators are not discouraged, though, by the move at Kickstarter and have moved their crowdfunding campaign over to Indiegogo. Electrical engineer Alan Pan, also known as Sufficiently Advanced on YouTube, has built a replica of Thor's hammer, also known as Mjolnir, that only he is able to lift obviously because he is worthy. Worthy. Alan used a microwave oven transformer electromagnet connected to a capacitive touch sensor attached to an Arduino Pro Mini computer, which upon applying his fingerprint, deactivates the powerful magnet and allows him to lift it off a metal surface. In the video, Alan challenges unsuspecting people in Venice Beach, California to lift Thor's hammer, and they all, of course, fail. That is, until Alan touches the handle which scans his fingerprint and turns off the magnet allowing him to lift Mjolnir to everyone's amazement. You can watch the entire Thor's Hammer video embedded in the Crave blog post. Alright guys, that was the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave. And check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Ventev S500 Desktop Charging Hub. Win an all-in-one desktop charging solution for powering three devices at once. Go to the blog and enter to win.